Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress with Pixie Dust Tarot, and this is your daily dust for Friday, February 17th, if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it. It is a timeless reading. I'm going to be doing a three card collective reading that I do every day, and I call it Pixie Dust, or I call it <laughs> Daily Dust because it's like the magic that you get from Pixie Dust. So your daily dust using the Vanessa Samoyna Pastel Journey, which it's like has pixie dust on it, okay? So it's perfect for me. And the edge of this is like a perfect rainbow edge. Very beautiful. Very beautiful moon. Here we go. Give it a good shuffle. I have been taking off the top, but I'm starting to take off the middle now, just in case I don't shuffle good enough, well enough. Let's see what we get. We have the Princess of Swords. Very intelligent energy here. And the Empress. Nice. And... Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, I got goosebumps on my legs for that. <laughs> okay, let's zoom on in and see what we get. So I, with the swords, we have mental energy, the mind again here. But with the princess, it's it's like uh, innovation. She's she's alert to something she's excited about something very similar to yesterday's reading or this a few seconds ago reading but um but because we have uh we have a princess form you know she's she is it's i feel like this is a more of an evolution than getting gaining knowledge on a particular day i think this is knowledge over a period of time that helps you transcend and evolve into this empress energy. And um, <laughs> if this, okay, so this is kind of cool. Like if this is not you, then this is could be a person that you know. So this is saying if this relates to a person you know, be open to their ideas no matter how unconventional you can learn more from them than meets the eye even though they seem oh you're just a little girl or you're just sometimes you get that energy from child children right out of the mouth of babes sometimes it's important what children say but also like very let's see if uh, we have biases of all sorts like for people and sometimes we'll look at a person just assume they don't know something when they maybe know way more than you give them credit for so the princess energy it's um it couldn't seem like this person's naive but actually they they're quite wise so take in consideration what they have to say um there there could be some risk taking involved and that that can kind of feel a little scary there's also the princess represents a little bit of naivete and that could rep represent you or the person a person you're dealing with but curiosity and discovery and learning overcome these things and it helps <laughs> transcend and and level up the person into empress energy <clears throat> the empress is just she's pure nurturing healing beautiful she represents the divine feminine she's goddess energy and she's harmony and she's got the sp sprinkles of dust all over her and this is about um a divine intense feminine energy here this is venus ruled this is expression of beauty and creativity and fertility this is a protective energy. So this could be you, this could be a person, or this could be like a higher energy that supports you. 
Um, it could be ancestor, it could be a guardian angel, it could be some feminine person in, that has passed on in your life that's now your, your guardian or guide. It could be something like that as well. Um, and it kind of reminds me of, of the reading. I just can't get over this reading. It stays in my head. But but the um, Not Your Average Glow Up reading where where the pile that I chose, it, it referenced it referenced as the spirit looking at you at, as the querent as baby. So I feel like this princess is like baby energy, like my baby, and I need to take care of you, and everybody leave baby alone. This is baby. And the empress here kind of gives me that energy, like that protective, mothering, nurturing energy to baby so that could be something too so for mothers out there or mothers that are or women out there that are pregnant could be having a very protective quality towards baby or if you have a baby <laughs> that's been born recently or over the last few months or whatever but even if you don't have a baby and you're not a typical mother or father you could have a project or something that you see is this is your baby that you really and it doesn't even have to be it could be your motorcycle it could be like you could be a masculine and have a very feminine nurturing quality about something you really care about like your you know your new motorcycle that you just bought or something like that it could be anything but there's this nurturing energy the queen of pentacles is kind of more of the same the queen of pentacles is like a mini empress and the queen of pentacles um the the one difference about the queen of pentacles to me right off the bat is money <laughs> is like finances because the empress is mostly about energy the pentacles is about earth quality and also representing earth signs like taurus virgo and capricorn and so that can resonate but it doesn't necessarily have to and it could be somebody that you're coming across and but with the the queen of pentacles she's definitely she's abundant so it's about financial abundance and doing well and being generous and sharing and sharing wealth and sharing energy this could also be grandmother energy too for baby i don't know why i see like the spoiled thing that the grandmothers do <laughs> to when it comes to kids in the family or it could be towards a pet even you know um it could also be just a sense of uh, a generosity or maybe sometimes going over the top. But it, I feel like queens, when we're in the court cards, we're usually balanced and level-headed and mature. And um, she knows the importance of money, but she's not going to put material belongings over the value of human or animal's life. And generosity and a strong moral compass are all her core belief and self-care is important um oh I just realized something that I'm going to be doing tomorrow with my daughter and it's not like she's not actually the focus but it is a pet so like I feel like um you know I think this is positive energy if you're going to put energy money and energy into baby whatever the baby represents a person a pet an uh, like a, a possession, a car, a motorcycle, uh, a ring. <laughs> I don't know, baby. What? What? Like your something, your bicycle. I don't know something that's very important to you in your life. If you, you know, if you're gonna, you, you like, you know, when you soup up your car or you buy accessories for your bicycle or something like that. That's baby. And you want to do something special for, for that then I think that this is just saying it's a thumbs up for that. You know, you're going to spend money on this? Yes, that's good. I think it's good. I think it's saying you have the right idea, the Queen of Pentacles. If it's your idea or somebody else's idea, so people, everybody's going to benefit from this idea of putting a little money towards something very special and precious. And I think that answers that. <laughs> and I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. Thank you.